Hello, Jamal of here and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3 where I'm finally continuing with the main quest after 15 or so videos, maybe 10 hours or something. So I'm heading to uh, Margrave Henkel's house to uh, investigate if I can find, find anything, any clues about Dandelion and how and why he broke into... Uh, into Sigitmund Dijkstra's vault, or Sigi Ruven as we know him in the game, or, or anyone else knows him in the game. So we are looking for Dandelion, and um, while at it we are also trying to help Dijkstra get back his treasure, but uh, our real motivation really is to find, uh, find Dandelion. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Speaking of Dandelion... Okay, that's Priscilla. For a moment I... Uh, for a moment I looked from, uh, from further away that... Uh, well, anyway. Okay, so... Hmm... Nobody's watching. Not a really good idea to uh, use your magic signs on the streets with the uh, temple. Temple holding the city in its grasp. Footprints. So I'm in the right place, or at least there's something interesting here. Actually, can I check in the, in the characters who... Do I know this person I'm actually... This building I'm in? I don't. I will, I will read the quest description for sure. Ah, right. I'm here because we found the found the explosion or the device that was caused in the explosion that it was dropped in one of the bathtubs that was used by this uh, Markgrave Henkel. Um, maybe because uh, this person has been dead for quite some time, that person was probably Dandelion. Or at least one of his uh, one of his accomplices in this uh, in this heist. It's been it's been such a long time since the last part I was uh, doing this that uh, I have to remind myself as well. What the heck was I doing? A letter and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Hmm. Yeah, the steps lead here to, uh... Well, for me, obvious secret door. So was that all that was in that mysterious note? Mysterious letter. No, that's not it. Mysterious notes. That's not it. Ah, okay. With love from D. Okay, so Dandelion left the note, left the note for Siri. Do we know? Of course Geralt knows Siri's birth year, but do we know? 
Ah, that we call her Siri for short, that she was born in 1251. So the letter was left by Dandelion, so we will place the bottle in uh, 1251. Oh, come on, really? Well, of course, Geralt knows the spots, but there's not even the tiniest bit of puzzle here. The spot is right there. Okay. 1245 to 1254. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. That's one thing this game is lacking. Uh, puzzles. There has been like two puzzles. One one with the quest with Kira. That was actually the only real puzzle when I had to light the fires in those statues. And then there was the, in the cat school gear. That's pretty simple one. Turning all those, turning all those statues to face one way. And then this one. All I had to do was walk into the next room. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Stain. Wyvern oil. Hmm. Some books. Books. A note. Letter from Dudu. Ah. Uh, uh, when Dudu was mentioned the first time, I thought that was a nickname for Trace, but apparently it's someone else, and uh, perhaps now we learn who it is actually in game. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. So you don't re you don't recognize who it is from the footsteps alone. What kind of witcher are you? Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Hmm. How did they get their hands on that? Sugar and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like they made the bomb here. Okay, I gotta go and look into the look into the characters. So we have we have Caleb Menge, who apparently now has Dandelion in a prison, and this was the man who we saw when we arrived in Novigrad. He was also burning the witches and the mages. And then we have, when we have Dandelion, of course, but then we have Dudu Beaverveld. Geralt and I had known the Doppler Dudu for years, from before the moment we had actually met him, in fact. You see, we first unwittingly talked to him when he was in Novigrad, impersonating another friend of mine, halfling merchant named Dainty Beaverveld. Dudu had assumed Dainty's form to use the merchant's network of Contra contacts for some business endeavors of his own. Doppler. So like doppelganger? Shapeshifter? Dainty was infuriated. Oh. Dainty was infuriated at first at his inabil inability to locate the imposter who had inserted himself into his dealings. But when Dudu's investments began generating sizable returns, the halfling changed his tune. He took the Doppler on as a partner, introducing to everyone as his cousin, Dudu Piverveld. Siri, Dudu and I had embroiled ourselves in quite a fiasco, but unlike me, the Doppler was not caught by the Temple card. Okay, so then the lion was indeed caught by the Temple card. And Men Menge is holding him as, as hostage. Or oh, in prison. So from that note, I would think that Siri has escaped. But uh, we still want to save Dandelion, so of course we will go 
go on and rescue him, but what is going on in here? That is Dijkstra. Dijkstra and Triss. Triss? Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet wars, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Um, uh, yes I have, but, uh, um, mm. Hang on, gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did, but I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Hmm. I guess it's worth the shot. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. <laughs> well... He won't buy that, because he knows Enkel is dead. What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time, but only because his honor the Margrave might indeed have something to do with the theft. Mm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately, though to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. <sighs> Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Hmm. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we, you know. Dijkstra doesn't need to know about my love life. Wise. I'd never choose his shoulder to cry on either. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then, and thanks. Hmm. I guess I can't find this doodoo person. Yet. Um. 
around midnight. I could just go there and wait. But now that I think about it, why didn't I talk to Dixter about Junior? The only re the reason why I came here to uh, this uh, Henkel's house was to uh, then go back to Dijkstra and deal with these two things at the same time. Okay, I guess we'll go talk to Dijkstra about that then. Although that, th although that might lead to something else. And I am carrying some loot again from my fights when I was hunting down Junior, so uh, let's go to my favorite Did you see those poor salesman who is not here. Why is not he why is he not here at times? It almost seems that uh, the merchants do not spawn Top -notch when you uh, when you run to them certain from certain place or something. Show me what you have in stock. So he has not replenished his coin. That's a problem. So long. So where will I find a blacksmith who has? I don't remember if there was a, if there was a blacksmith there or was it just a grindstone and armor stable, but uh, let's at least go there and see. Hmm? I was running, I was not... Uh, Blacksmith here. Yes. You. Mom? Yeah, welcome to my workshop. Sturdy craftsmanship at a reasonable price. Well, I'm actually looking to sell you something. Show me what you have on offer. You have not that much coin. Uh, I think I bought this blunt sword at some point. But then I sold it. Um, I wonder what uh, what quest it actually starts. Maybe I will remember not to sell it now. Okay, so let's sell these things. As long as he has coin. I guess I don't need that many shirts, so let's sell two of them. But uh, he ran out of money then. So I did the blunt. Oh, now I have two of these. Uh, right, okay. I actually, actually remember that. Uh, so should I, should I buy this one as well? Like how many of those I need? I don't know. And what quest is that even even for? Looking for someone who can forge an item based on a master's diagram. Hmm. No one I know. Not here in Novigrad at any rate. Hattori. That's who you'd want if he weren't done. Burned out, you see. He's scrunching dumplings somewhere now. Cannot say where, for I only eat at home. Well, I know where Hattori is. So long. Hmm. Yeah, let's go and see. Let's go and see extra. Or do I have some side quest I could do? Or will I actually just go and... Uh... You know what, let's go... Uh... 
Let's go talk to Cleaver and finish the gangs of gangs of Novigrad. Easier than you think. You just need to set the proper <laughs> Draw your weapon. Oh, Prepare it's you. You shall not have it easy this time. Broad friends. Huh. They all pledge to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too. No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Yes, for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. Uh, actually I did. Actually I did. Uh, should I just tell him to go home? The previous fights they have kind of uh, stopped and then uh, I've been able to continue the quest in a way, if you can say so. You never asked. But since you've all gone to the trouble, let's fight. Come on! Oh no! Should have told him to go home. <laughs> now I feel bad. was not my best decision to the most beautiful oh. oh no what did I do why did I do I feel so bad oh, such is my quest to wander the villages of this fair land of Velen singing the praises of Maid Bilberry I shall bring due fame to her une unequalled beauty and unparalleled charms. Maid Bilberry is without a doubt the most intelligent, most understanding and most compassionate of all creatures to walk this our imperfect world. I shall immediately and with full prejudice correct any man who dares to claim otherwise. The most stubborn and foolhardy of these ignorami shall taste of my family plate. Indeed, just the other day I came across a certain gentleman fondling some tarts and having the cheek to call her my most beautiful little flower. This enraged me so egregiously that I decided to explain to the fool the magnitude of his error, but he refused to listen and when I insisted further he fled. This truly is a land of cowards. I shall not rest until I've convinced all the locals that uh, they should direct their compliments to Maid Bilberry and only Maid Bilberry. Well, you know what? Now I don't feel that bad anymore. Maybe I just saved some lives right there. Maybe I just saved some lives by uh, stopping the man before he... Uh, does something uh, oh. something more serious Freak. The dungeon. that's where you belong <sighs> wait oh cleaver lives right next to this uh, Hengel's house what is it gray boy looking for adventure all right carlo varese aka cleaver okay what do you want? Helped your dwarves at the casino. Aye, not the arena though. Had to invite themselves in. Not what we agreed. But Cleaver's a dwarf both loyal and fair. Anyone would tell you that. Give off the help, get off the reward. Okay. Because I wanted to go in and uh, pretend to be the fighter. That was hell of the quest. Two experience points. 150 crowns though. I guess that was worth it. Hmm. Well, let's go see the King of Beggars as well. That's, uh, Oi, that's another quest I'm finishing.
I honestly don't even remember where the place is. This is a shortcut of some sort. This is a shortcut through people's houses are. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Sorry. <laughs> just walking through, just walking through. Find some thugs here. As this is to wait. Uh, this is not the place. This is not the place. I'm on the wrong side. The wrong side here. The, this. Uh, West breadcrumb isn't exactly leading me through the door I'm supposed to go through. It's here, isn't it? Yes. Open up. Yeah, this is the one. Or is it? Yes, it is. Did I visit this merchant? Mm. I didn't, and you play Gwent. What are you offering? Uh. Oh. One hundred. One hundred inventory weight saddlebags. I kinda wish I'd visited this man when I was here the first time. Syracanian saddlebags. Yes, please. Okay, I guess I might as well sell you these, uh, sell you these ones because I'm not going to hold on to every one of them and uh, selling everything to the maximum price. I have uh, 11,000 at this point, so don't, don't care that much anymore. See you. Okay, I will write this down so I have not played... King of Beggars Merchant. I'm planning to do a separate Gwent video after uh, after I do these uh, main main quest things, but uh, this saddlebag. Yeah, I will, uh, I will sell it at some point. It's not that heavy. I can carry it around now. Yes, there he is. Boy. Should pick your men more carefully. Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said. Take it. Okay. Boy. Work with mages often? My, aren't you curious? You yourself looking for work, perhaps? No, I just know them. Usually not all that willing to get their hands dirty. Don't know them well, then. A hounded, hungry mage is desperate as any man. Not about to be fussy when taking on work. 
Novigrad's a city of opportunities. Chances to be seized. You should grab one too. Farewell. Shit. What did he give me? He gave me an absolutely fantastic sword. That's damage wise better than the one I have. Freya's Warrior's Ar Armor. It's pretty awesome looking, but uh, I kind of like my armor. Wow. Wow. Okay. In addition to uh, if he gave me any coin, I kind of missed, what is missed that, Boy, but uh, that was pretty good reward. Um, okay, so I have the nobleman statuette with trace. Then uh, there was one in Skellige. Which contracts I have? Um, I think I will just. Uh, I will just go and uh, deal with the quest I started now. Let's do one at a time. So we are actually pretty close by already. So I can just. Uh, I can just wait here. Around midnight, so 11 should be okay. Or not. I fought someone here? Apparently, yes. At some point. Those mates is so uh so precise. Arriving precisely when they mean to. Glad you're here. Listen. Took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. <sighs> that is an idea, but... Uh... Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here? With everyone watching. This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing as too risky. Oh, well, I'm just wondering that can Triss die in this? Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision and I won't change it. All right, Triss. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Mm. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not, 
Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Hmm. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. This will not end well. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. Yeah, now I have even worse feeling about this. Oh, man. What do you want? Here for my reward. For the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. <laughs> 